and welcome ladies and gentlemen so today what we're gonna do is a row a couple of times the character to be exact specific is 23 rows i farmed shit out of myself for these two days to be able to get as much as possible ascension a scroll of fortune and as as the beginning we're just gonna use s of talent so we can take and have potential to have the spells that we already picking up at level 60 so we have more options to pick up other spells uh after that we're gonna have a tomb of specialization 2 and i know i know a lot of people are not very happy that i reroll claw and other abilities and stuff now with uh, tomb of specialization 2 if we have the chance to have a claw there i'll keep it and we're gonna try it as well with the claw instead of the um, what was the name uh the ranged druid right so we can see the differences between them so overall my experience into the the whole thing it's pretty pretty positive i have 18 wins on 10 losses um and of course there is a lot more geared player than me that be the share of me but overall it feels pretty good the damage is pretty awesome um we are like 300 mal attack power without buffs and yeah okay no more talking about the stuff let's start with the of talents and we have a lot of options uh, to cut out. Into the arenas, I discovered that I cannot use clans because it get me out of travel form and this costs a lot of mana. Uh, Earth, Earth Elemental Totem, it's not working out very well either. Uh, Frost Shock, I didn't use it, so it's going out as well. Healing Touch is something else that I want to cut out because I have Regrowth and then I can put the Rejuvenation and those two periodic healings, um, it's just better than the than the healing dirge because my mana absolutely get obliterated uh track hidden it's uh, something else that we can cut out and let's start with the one that uh, if i don't cut it out we're gonna give me more bullshit but like frost shock it's actually okay uh, because we can get uh, rock biter more easier okay cleanse is the first road that we're going to do and we get the ba blade fury all right so about the blade fury it's a nice attack speed increased and additional open and attacking but i'm not looking for this um next up that we got it's our claw back well there is a some kind of a chance that we can check it out in this spec too but with all the crazy stuff that i wrote i don't think this is the last thing that i wanted to try is two stuff at the same time so claw is going out uh the next thing we got the vocation with um basically cut out my problems with mana but is it worth it because um we are not having a lot of kiting so most of the time we are on top of the target most um, like constantly and the only way that we put the rejuvenation or uh, regrowth is so uh, for example we stun it with the random uh, attacks or internal rods or he's trying to run out so we can heal so uh, there is a lot more better options for mana than uh, evocation that's what i think uh next one is hunter abilities we're not looking for them and we've got our claw back i think this uh, this ability will um stay there so we're not gonna bother it pro shot going out and we got ice lens which is not welcome uh terror totem terror totem so remove a fear charm sleeping effects um honestly most of the time i forgot to use those stuff so this have a really big potential to be cut out um let's see earth elemental totem going out and we got a hamstring this is not welcome uh, then we got the revive which it's not welcome either tranquility is another healing that uh, we're not looking for and then we got a counter attack uh, that sucks frost resisting totem going oh this is actually the aura but we already have retribution aura so I'm not not welcome in this one focusing magic going out as well we got our revive back uh, which means that uh, no matter what we do we're gonna get these revives over and over again which means i need to figure out something else to cut out um all right let's try claw once again and we got a death wish which can be used in the shape shifting form 
So about that, that wish, um, this is like 15% physical damage increased, and on a cat form, that's a lot. All right, um, um, I'm okay with that, and I, I really want to test it out though, just to see how powerful and broken can be. Um, so we run a little bit out of options, so I'm just gonna risk it again and cut out the revive once again. And we got renew, and from renew we got claw back. Okay, this is a waste of the rose here. I'm wasting my rose. Alright, as I said, healing touch, I don't like it. I, have, uh, I really don't want to play it. I mean, I, I play it already in Renaissance and it's not something that I want. And from it we got Viper Stink, which is going out. Holy smokes, we got the last stand. Okay, guys, last stand, it's a pretty good one. Alright, this is top notch right now. I am 100 times like this one stays all right this one eats thing for sure uh let's see frost brand weapon could be the next one let's see how much rose we got uh we got four there is not a lot of options uh let's go for the frost brand weapon and we got a mana shield which is not welcome divine spirit uh no thank you blessing of centuries this is another buff for stamina and strength but i'm not looking for that and then we got less healing wave so from the rerolls uh we fucked up i think two points it's not like fucked up but we used the two points that um, um for my level 60 talents which is not very very pleasant because I need to figure out what to cut out next um also there is a another stuff that i want to invest in which i think it was uh nature's leader just because on the final rank of this uh the rejuvenation spell will be increased by three seconds and regrowth spell by six which means that we're gonna have a lot more healing than usual so yeah this will increase uh all, all the stuff by six second regrowth and three second rejuvenation which is gonna be pretty awesome and this is uh, I'm planning to use such a point uh, in, in that spot. Um, so yeah, the, the rows are not the worst, but not the best. We didn't get the rock biter. We have the claw again. If I don't have any specialization too, we can actually uh, potentially make it um, with the razor claw, and it's going to be pretty interesting uh, to see how it's going to go. Um, okay, so. I mean, overall, we got Last Stand and Death Wish, which are welcome because uh, they're gonna increase the damage quite a lot. And that's it. For 24 rows, we got Death Wish and Last Stand. And the most, the greater part here is that I have so much stuff. I mean, this cat build can be upgraded and upgraded and upgraded and upgraded, and it's not going anywhere bad. All right. We have all the chance to get a lot of good stuff. All right, now it's time for Book of Specialization 2. Let's see what goodies this one hides. And let's see how it's gonna go. Any second now. Whoppa. All right. So we don't have a poisons in this uh, area. Uh, I'm just gonna start not with the cat, uh, not, not with the druid abilities because we obviously have some. Um, so from the Warlock we have a Summon Imp, which can increase our health. From the Shaman Mystic we have a Lightning Shield, Farsight, which is going to be fucking rerolled for 100%, uh, as well as Last Recall. From the, uh, from the Warlock we, don't, we didn't have a sh um, Clock of Shadow, but Pick Clock is, can't um, repair it, I mean, that sucks. Uh, from the Price we have Renew, from Paladin, okay. So the more I click on those, the more I know that I have less and less abilities of this and more abilities in Drift. Uh, from the mage we have Blast Wave, which is not bad one, but for the shapeshifter form, I'm not exactly sure that it's uh, pretty good. We have Slam, Blood Rage and Battle, Battle Shot. Battle Shot is good, those two are going to be rerolled. And as we can see, there is a lot of stuff going on in this one, um, which most of them are going to be rerolled. And from the Drift. Uh, we have our bear form. At least we have a claw, a rose by and rake, as well an insect swarm. Well, it's not looking the most terrible thing, but there is a lot to be done on that build. 
I mean, we're here anyways, so what we're going to do is grow up as much as possible. Um, scroll fortune, and let's see if we can actually hit some pretty good stuff on the spec 2. Alright, now we're like 37 rows to actually uh, make the spec 2 pretty powerful. The first thing that we need to cut out is the bear form, because we're going to get a lot of bear form abilities. Um, and from that, we've got challenging shout. Uh, between challenging shout, oh wait, challenge shout is the oh, okay, that's shit. Anyways, um, now the next stuff it's from the um, from the hunter because if we don't cut the auto shot and arcane shot, we're gonna get aim shot and a lot other stuff that we don't want to. So first thing is aim shot, and from what we got scourge. I'm okay to actually cut out immediately scourge. We're gonna get mage abilities. And we got Scare Beast. Scare Beast can stay. It's a Druid ability, I believe. Uh, let me just be sure of it. No, it's a Hunter. That sucks. Arcane Shot going out. And we got Shallow Protection. It's whatever. So, uh, next stuff that we need to cut out. It's a Slam because we're going to get another Warrior, um, like, Overpower Rent. And from it, we got Life Bloom. Uh, Life Bloom, it's... Not particularly that good heal, but it could be for now staying into the build. A scare Beast probably is going out, but let's see if there is anything else that can fuck up the build. Uh, Alright, let's get out uh, Challenging Shout. And we got some ability that I don't know what is this. Oh, okay, that's, that's great, that's great. I need to get out these counter abilities right now. Um, red DNS going out. We got Fate Death, which is uh, whatever. Swipe Bear going out. No, uh, for Swipe Death, we have Scare Beast going out. And we get Ice Lens. Ice Lens immediately going out. And we got the more, the more something shout, which it's. I think I cut it out. Oh, that's the new one. Never mind. Um, pretty bad. Uh, for now, the stuff are not very good. Let's cut out the pick lock. And we got the holy shield. Holy shit. Get the fuck out. Terror totem. It's fine. I need to somehow put my cards in a way that um, I can cut out the, the chances to get some abilities that are... Uh, the, so basically what I'm trying to do is to cut out as much as possible... Um, different classes abilities and we just focus to have only two classes uh, full of abilities because otherwise if i have price shadow a warlock rogue shaman abilities i'm gonna get i have a bigger percentage to get all of those four um so renew going out because it's a price ability and we got power shield which is going out as well mana burn is going out as well stone cloud totem holy shit shadow pro shadow protection going out and we got gauge uh, Ghost going out because we're gonna get rogue abilities. And we got, ladies and gentlemen, Sparrow Charge. Okay. This is huge. That's pretty huge. Okay, for, from the Paladin, we just got only one, which is a Blessing of Wisdom, which is going out. Then we got Psychic Scream, Blast Wave going out as well. We got Sweeping Strike. Sweeping Strike is not welcome. We got... Uh, we got the stealthy one, which uh, I'm okay with. Man play, I didn't saw it, so going out. And we got Seal of Command. Okay, so Seal of Command is a free damage, and I'm okay with this. Um, a Psychic Scream, though, cannot be used while we're stealth. I mean, we're cat form, which is sucks. Uh, it's sex farm going out, and we got Mongols Bite. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, before that, we I want to get the far side as well. I got Bloodthirst. Holy shit, this is bad. Clan Spirit is another bad one. Let's go Mongo's Bite before we get Raptor Strike. Uh, now we got Dash, which I'm not exactly sure. Oh, okay. This is a cat ability. I'm okay with that. Um, the only reason that we're not going to cut... Okay, never mind. Let's cut out Clan Spirit. It's like Shackle Undead, which is uh, terrible. After that, we got Serenum Pain, which is terrible as well. The Sprayer Pair, um, they just running out with bad ones. 
tranquility you will stay because it's a druid one so more chance to get druid abilities the morning shot going out we got mana drain which is going out as well a reconation doesn't do a very good job in arenas and we got some shot which i have no clue what it is consusive shot all right there we go uh, victory rush, uh, it's gonna go out. Aspen of the Chieftain, I need to be cut it out because we're gonna get more uh, abilities that we don't want to. Inferno going out as well. Serpent Pain, holy shit, game, what do you want from me? Strength and Earth, Totem, it's uh, not, not even close to be a bad one. Oh my god, I didn't start the freezing trap. This one going out as well. Abolish Poison go out as well. We got Flare, which is going out as well. Shadow Burn. The game really hate me right now. <laughs> okay, Earth Living Weapon it will stay because we can get a Rock Biter or something else. Astro Recall going out and we don't have any more. Okay, okay, okay. So, Cat form with Claw. We have a Feral Charge, which is a pretty top notch for this build, especially if we don't have a Charge and overall the build is missing a lot of stuff all right a lot of stuff and it is really gonna be really difficult to combine it for the simple fact that if you wanted to actually succeed in one build you have to on your leveling process cut out specific abilities that are gonna fuck you up for example if you have a uh, on level uh, 27 sinister strike and your build is mage right you immediately go get your free scroll fortune and you cut out sinister strike in order to not get eviscerate or other abilities that can uh, pretty much fuck you up but if you hybrid it's most welcome right but if you're not it's, it's gonna fuck up everything so i don't think i wanted to invest time in the specialization 2 so we're just gonna go back real quick in specialization 1 and i got the razor claw ability and this time i'm gonna go into a couple of arenas maybe today and I'm just gonna cut out a little bit the passive tree uh, from different uh, abilities and we're gonna try to optimize it once again but this time with the claw I want to see the differences there is uh, so much stuff here that um, I mean I, I start thinking about it that if I have a claw which is gonna increase the damage and potential of my bleeds which is gonna kill me more it's better to get mangle which is a lot of damage but does not increase that much my damage abilities that are over time blitz effects and I cannot heal that much so I'm really enjoying the random abilities generating because we have chance to have stun but I also wanted to try to see how it's gonna go with Claw so ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you for watching um, the build looks pretty good so far I'm really enjoying it uh, we are missing a lot of stuff uh, necklaces, bags, um, and other components, mystic enchantments, om almost nothing is done till maximum and everything is gonna of course come with the time. So yeah, take care and see you into the next video.